Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we will take a look at how to create a simple in-game movie. Like a screen that you can walk up to and then it will play and then when you walk away it will stop. So what I have done is I've just opened a first person template. So you can do that as well if you want to have the same initial settings as I do now. Uh, so first I'm gonna create the screen and I'm just gonna make it as easy as I'm gonna borrow this this box put it in front of the player and just scale it down to make it look like a screen like that Yeah, that's good enough. And then save. Okay, so now I'm gonna click the content folder and I'm gonna create a new folder for this tutorial. And I will call this simple in-game movie. So all the files related to this thing will be placed in this folder. Now the first thing to do is to create a media player. So you right click or take add new and go down to miscellaneous and then all the way down here you see the media player. So you click that. I'll just call this in-game movie. Save. Open this and as of now there's no media here of course uh, so we will go here to the source and find the file but first it's important that the movie you will be using is located inside of this folder and I have found a little movie that I created like four years ago it's just a little 3d snippet of this alien so I'll be using this so I'm just gonna drag this right in to this folder. Oh! So I didn't have to create the media file. It's already a media player. So that, that's good, you know. I'll just delete this then. But just so you know, if you wanted to find it instead, then you could go here to the source, click this, and then find it. But we don't have to do that now. So delete that and here it is so I'm just gonna save that and open this instead now we can't see anything so we gotta play and here it is um, so the next thing now is to make this into a material that we can place on this fake TV screen so you right click your media player and you take create media texture I'm just gonna let it be that name. Save again. If I open this now, you see there's nothing here. And there's nothing here either, so what I gotta do is go back into the media player and play. Just let it play, then you will see it pops up on the texture. So then you know it works. But it's still not done, so we gotta right click this texture and then take create material. And again, we cannot see it here, so if you just play, then you will see it here, so then you know it's right. Save. And now we have what we need, so we can take the material and drag it onto the, whatever this is, the screen. Here it is. Now, if I go into the media player again and take play and just let it loop, so you have the playback and you have looping on, so it loops. If you go back out now and just take play, you will see that it it just loops and it's just working. But we want it to turn on when the player, you know, overlaps a trigger. So go back into the media player and pause it. 
and by the way I want it to be a little bit brighter than this so I'm gonna double click the material and then connect the emissive color to this first node so now the screen will be bright and nice and will shine like a real TV screen yes um, yeah so what we want to do is create the trigger that will play it so find a box trigger drag it into the scene and make it however big you want it that's probably good enough so with this trigger box selected open the level blueprint and create one begin on overlap and one end overlap collision so add event collision add on actor begin overlap and do it again just take add on actor end overlap now we want this only to be triggered when the player is overlapping so drag out the other actor node and take cast to first person character or whatever your character is named if you're not using this template then copy and paste to create another one you know control C control V and just connect this like this now we will have to reference the media player so we know what will play so go up here to add new and create a new variable and we will not have boolean so we will search for media player so just take the first one and then you see here on default value please compile the blueprint so we will compile the blueprint and that makes enables us to find the asset we want which will be in my case the Zuby first walk and it must be said that I know like this file is an AVI and I have also tried the Windows Media Player file format so I know those two work, but I don't know, you know, if you're using like, yeah, some other file type, it might not work. I don't know. So you will just have to try it. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm just going to call this movie variable like that. Oh, and then compile once more and do it once more like that. So now in the variables we have it here, so we will drag it in and we will set it. Nope, 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 we will not set it. We will in fact get it like this. And then we will drag out from this node and we will write play. Ooh, pay. We're gonna ooh, pay it, man. Play. And then simply connect this to that and we will drag out another one and we will write pause like that and connect pause to the end overlap now it should play once we begin the overlap and it will pause when we end the overlap logically enough Now let's see if the magic is indeed real. Here we are, walking around. Oh, a TV! Boom, and it plays! There is a god! <laughs> so, you know, and then when I exit, it stops. Begins. Like that. So. That's it. That's a really simple screen in game movie. And I might be taking this further in another tutorial, but not today. So, 
Have a great day and take care.